Hey there YouTube, how's it going? Well today, I wanted to review this Winterwell Woodlander stove made by Winterwell and it's a pretty good little stove so far. I wanted to uh, get quite a few uh, uses out of it before I decided to do a review on it just so I could get a, a good initial impression. Um, my first thoughts on this thing are that it's just, one, it's beautiful. It's a really nice looking stove. I mean, I got mine all charred up and stuff from, from using it, but it's a really nice looking stove. It's uh, built very well. You can see the quality in the, uh, in the handles there. In your, all the devices and stuff. And uh, you got some racks on the side. Those are those are nice. They keep things pretty warm when you're when you're done cooking up here. You can set things on the side here, and it keeps them really warm. Uh, not only that, but you have that plate there that you can twist and pull off, and that allows you to cook directly over the fire if you wish to do so. You have quite a bit of real estate up here, up on top. You could fit quite a few cups for coffee, or you could. I've even fit two pans up here before, and there was more than enough room to do the cooking that I required. Um, and then when you're done, you just set them on the side here. It keeps it nice and warm. I think the most fragile part about this entire stove is that glass right here on the front. Now, mine is a little charred because I haven't burnt the best quality wood. Um, I mean, if you use a really nice dry and hard wood, you should be fine, but... I don't have too much of that that I'm willing to burn right now, so just use what I got. Now, it one of the, the coolest features about this stove is that um, everything that comes with it, all of the pipes and stuff, nest inside here so you can put everything inside and pack it up and take it with you. Um, this mat that it's sitting on, is a high temperature mat this did not come with the stove but I feel it's something that you should have or at least something under here like maybe uh, one of those metal oil pans you can get from your local auto shop just anything to keep the ashes or any uh, anything from falling out um, my particular case I needed to buy some 45s and luckily the company carries 45s um, I didn't want to shoot it straight up through the roof of my tent because that made it to where I would have had to scoot this uh, this whole stove out some and I would have lost some real estate on my floor plan in this tent and so it's a 10 by 10 tent there's plenty of room in here but I didn't want to sacrifice more than I needed to um, so aside from that everything comes with it um, it's uh, not big. It looks big on camera. Um, it's a it's a good size. It's about 18 inches long, so you can fit some good size logs in there. Um, it's about 18 inches off the ground as well from the top here. Um, on the top, you got 10 inches wide. And uh, stock with this thing with everything that it comes with weighs about 29 pounds so this is definitely not something that you want to take with you backpacking or anything like that unless you you're not backpacking in very far I'm, I'm sure you could manage it but uh other than that it's perfect for like car camping you just carry it in your your trunk or the back of your truck or whatever and set it up it's real easy to set up you can see showed you the handles and everything you can see the the welds and one of the cool parts here is this glass there's a little screw up there you can remove it so if if you're too rough with it and you end up breaking the glass on the front you could easily replace that with some high temperature glass you can see these feet down here there's, there's three feet and they use cotter pins to sort of secure them in place when they're open. 
and then there's a nosy dog. This first pipe comes with flue on it. It's a real, real nice feature. That way you can sort of dampen things down if you if you want to. Uh, let me show you the, the outside, the setup that I have. Uh, I have it running through the wall here, through a stove jack. It's a high temperature silicone. It's made by the same company, Winterwell. And uh, I don't know about any of the rest of you, but for me it was a little scary cutting holes in a, in a canvas tent. But uh, measure twice. Cut once, you get it done. Had some uh, some pretty good rains here the other day, so got to test that out. Once it's going, it burns real clean. No smoke coming out. There's that stove jack, and you you feel all around this, and it'll be it'll be warm, but it's not hot enough to really do any damage. So. Stove come with it, comes with everything other than the 45s. Those 45s you have to buy separate. Also the stove jack. But all of the rest of them, the pipes and the spark arrestor up there on top and everything, that all comes with the stove. Another thing that it comes with is this cool little ash scraper. So what this does, let me move you over here. What this does is, when you get this thing going, when it's done, you can see down there, this little, fits perfectly in here. So you can scrape your ash out when you're done and you need to clean out your, your stove. Fucking around with it. Even when you get a, a nice raging fire like you have here, you can still touch this and it's it's cool to the touch. Um, the only issue that I've noticed with mine is that when it gets going real hot, latching that could be a little bit of a pain, but it's not really that big of a deal. Um, other than that, there's no warping whatsoever on this entire stove. I haven't noticed anything else that's bending or, or starting to get out of place. I mean, I've had this thing roaring red hot No warping or anything like that. It's a pretty sturdy little stove. I've had it to where, uh, like I said, it was red hot. Nothing's nothing's bending or, or anything like that. And then the other day we had some pretty good winds and rains, like I mentioned. And uh, it held up pretty good. I didn't have any problems with anything falling apart. I didn't I didn't have any uh, anything tied off or anything so it's still standing and no leaks or anything like that one of the things I would mention if you camp quite a bit in a hot tent and you have people that you bring with you or pets or whatever get you one of these little fellows over here it's a carbon monoxide detector they're cheap, and they'll just give you an extra peace of mind. I mean, if you burn proper wood, you shouldn't really, shouldn't really have an issue. You burn proper dry wood and keep a few windows open, you'll be fine. This stove gets this tent more than hot enough that you have to keep windows open. You can get it well over 95 degrees in here with this little stove. And that was with the outside temperature being about 50 the other day. The other day. Uh, currently... With all the windows open, it is about 90 degrees. Now it's just under 70 outside right now, so it's not it's not very cold. But this stove does a really really good job of keeping things nice and warm. This is a 10 by 10 tent that I have this stove set up in. Uh, it's a Kodiak canvas tent. And it's a really nice tent. I love it so far. Real easy to set up, real sturdy. I'll uh, probably be doing a review on that at a later time. But uh, 
yeah, I mean, if you guys have any questions or, or anything you want to know about this particular stove, I'm uh, more than happy to answer. Uh, like I said, I'm doing this video because I couldn't really find too much out there on it. So uh, it made me want to make this video so other people won't have the same issue. So yeah, let me know if you if you have any questions or concerns or anything. Go ahead and, and like the video and subscribe if you will. Um, I'm fairly new to this whole thing, but I'm going to be doing a bunch more gear reviews in the future. Sorry about that. My dogs are going crazy. Uh, I'm going to be doing a bunch more gear reviews in the future, so if you subscribe, you'll be able to see those and, and we can communicate and and keep things going. Alright? Thanks everybody.